This is how to use Autodesk Recap to convert a point cloud file. I have downloaded some file which is a scan file object but it's in a P57 file. So basically this is cannot be inserted or imported in Revit uh, 2021 or from Revit, mod Revit software 2018 and uh, latest version of Revit. So now we have to use another software which is Autodesk Recap. You can download this from Autodesk. Let's open it and then we'll get started with in converting this E57 files, point cloud E57 files. So here we are. The first display you're going to see is this part. Just click OK. Welcome to Autodesk Recap. This is just a display that for your existing projects that you want and this is the recent projects that we have opened and created. Here we're going to start with a new project but first we have to create the settings first. Let's set the settings. Display X, Y and Z. We don't normally change this. We, we just use it as it is. Far plane is 1000 meter so we'll just leave it as it is. The project units is you have to be very you have to know what is the project units used during the scanning of the point cloud model. So now we're going to set it in millimeters because our project is scanned in millimeters. So just set it as millimeters. Precision, you can change it to a single digit or a no decimal. Now this is the click OK. You can go to advance also, just check. Select language, you can also select this if you want to, if you prefer a different language. Miscellaneous, you can go and click it. Open the images, so nothing much on that. Maximum uh, file is 8 or 8 gig, so that is the maximum memory you change. So files, temporary location, or save path for scan files. So this one we can set it later once we open a new project. So click OK. Select new project. Now you are asked to either import point cloud, transfer from mobile service or photo to 3D. So let's import point cloud files. Here we are required to create the name that we want to save. So let's save it as Revit some or project point cloud one now the this is where the reference for the where you want to locate your save file so let's just proceed with this you can either collect click here and then select which folder you want to save it so just click proceed now we are have this display you can either drag and drop your files here you can open your Internet Explorer uh, Explorer window and then just drag and drop the files. Select import or select folder. Let's select files. Now I'll go to the desktop and I will go to the point cloud sample 3 files. This is the files I showed you earlier. So I will go with the station or parking lot. Or I think we'll select the most Let's say pump uh, station. So now we have the standards to filter the scan. Let's set it as standards. You can the intensity click points. We just maintain it as it is. Then you can also set some advanced settings, but for now we're not going to use or change any settings on this part. So just we have to select and continue. Click just select import files index scan once this scan has completed then we can proceed with the next step now you see that it has already scanned so index now that the indexing scan has been completed you can see here it's about 100% uh, our file is about 115 MB and it took about 5 minutes for it to finish its scan. 
indexing scan to 100%. Now we're going to go and continue by selecting launch project. Here the image will be displayed of our scan file. So it's a little bit blurry. We have to zoom in. So this is the scan file of the part, part that we have just converted from point cloud E57 to E to a RCP file. So we'll save it as a this is what we can only see on the display. This is the scan file and this is the image that it has given us. So let's save it. Here we're going to export it out. Click export. And here we're going to the desktop and save it in one of the folders which is here and select the rcp.rcp and then let's open this file this is the first uh, file name that we have created so we'll just click it save click ok now we're going to close this recap let's save it first that changes now we're going to open our Revit software so we can see if our point cloud model can be inserted or can it will be recognized by the Revit. Uh, the E57 files and RCP and RCS files is only been adopted in Revit 2018 and the latest so Revit software which is 2021. Lower version, it can, you can directly insert and open the point cloud files. But in 2018 and above, uh, you have to use the Autodesk recap first and then convert, it in, convert the file to RCP or RCS. So how, now we are in the Autodesk Revit. We need to go to insert and select point cloud. Here we have in the progress, which is video progress. This is the Revit sample project that we have created or saved as our, as RCP file. Now we're going to insert it. You see that this is the file. Now if we go to 3D, you can see it clearly. This is the object and the RC the, the, the image that has been created by the point cloud or scanning using the point cloud so here we're going to the left level so you can see the difference so now it's actually located on the lower than level one so we cannot see it let's select the file move it select the elevation then let's go to level here you can see the display the road some of the images let's set the change let's set the options to the more lighter color so let's see if we can make it we can see the graphics or images clear so it's still the same but in 3d it's much more clear you can see the images the trees part of the road and the parking areas so that is how to convert a point cloud file E57 to an RCP point cloud file which is recognized by Revit software.